I wanted a new training platform for the Chipino module with a larger breadboard, so I designed and 3D printed a new platform, and I'll show you how I did it on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. This is my original design I did on Filament Friday a while ago, but I wanted a larger breadboard area, and I wanted some space for like an LCD. I found this one by Creative Skull on Thingiverse, but I wanted to move some things around. So I imported it into Tinkercad, and then I went to work modifying it. I duplicated it and moved that to the side because I'm actually going to use parts of that for the final design. I want to use a whole box to take away the screw mounts and the current LCD. So I put the work plane on top of that section and then dragged a box across, and then I grouped that together to make it nice and flat. I really like the way my original design has the board actually snap in place. It's got some screw mounting holes, but you don't even have to use them. The board just snaps right in place. So I want to use that frame, and what I'm going to do is just use some hole blocks to cut out the pieces that I don't want. And after I group that together, now I've got the mount that I want to use on the new design. I like his LCD mount, but I don't like the direction. So what I want to do is cut it from the duplicate and then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees for the new design. So I'm just going to use the whole blocks to cut away everything but the LCD mount. Now I can start building the platform. But I noticed that even though I flattened this out, there were still holes I wanted to cover up. So I brought in another block and I stretched it out across this whole thing. I rounded the edges so it would be nice and smooth and lines up perfectly with the breadboard area. Then I'm going to lower this down to the thickness that I really want it to be and cover up all those holes and any extra pieces. And then I'll build on top of that with the mount for the uh, Chipino module and the LCD. So once I got that grouped together, now it's time to just drag these other two in and put them where I want. The LCD slid to the right and I put it about center of that plate and then I brought in the Chipino module slot and put that towards the edge because the programmer's got to connect to that. And when I grouped it together, I could see that the LCD was still sticking up on the one side. So I raised that flat platform that I had before up until that was gone, but still not too high that affected the Chipino. And once I got that done, this looked really good. I was pretty much done. So I decided to bring in an LCD module that was built in Tinkercad and also this breadboard representation from Tinkercad. And everything seemed to be lining up and fitting, so I thought this looked really good. Now later on, I would actually notch out the LCD mount so it would snap in place, and I put Chipino.com across the top. And that's what I have here in Simplify 3D. So now I need to slice it, so I'm going to use my CR10 Mini. I'm going to put it at a 0.2 layer height, 50% fill. So regular on my settings is 0.2, 50% fill. Temperature, 60 degrees on the bed. 215 on the hot end and that's pretty much it speed 50 millimeters per second pretty standard what I've used on other videos and then I sliced it and it looked really good the edges look sharp I don't see any flaws in this said it would take five hours and 31 minutes two dollars and 24 cents worth of plastic so I sent it to my printer and what I'm going to use is my red filament Friday filament so I just clip the end off here so I can load it into the printer and I'm going to print it on my CR10 Mini. Now, actually, I've got several of these in a print farm. I love the way this printer prints. And here's the final print. It looks just like it was designed or pictured. This looks really good. I'm happy with the results of the print. Very smooth. The edges are nice and round. There's no warping in the corners. This turned out to be a really good print. And I love this color. This is my favorite red. So now I need to install the pieces. And here's the breadboard I'm going to use. It fits in nicely. So now all I need to do is make it more permanent. You just peel the sticky back like this and then stick it into place. So I'll just slide it into the corner and just kind of just drop this guy in place with a little nudge and there we go. So now I want to try and snap in the Chipino module. Now this is a little bit tight, but that's what I wanted. So if I put it at the bottom and then just push up here, it snaps right in place. Now I'll add the LCD. This is a 1x16 character module. It should snap right in place, and it does. 2x16 would fit here as well. 
I think I still want to make some changes, make this more universal for various types of displays. Anyway, I'm going to connect this up to the breadboard, add some jumper wires, write a little code, and I got it flashing filament Friday. So I like this as a starting point. There's a lot of improvements I can make, but it turned out pretty good, and now I can modify it in Tinkercad. If you have ideas for how to improve this, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. If you like this video, check out some of the other videos, and if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week right here at Filament Friday.